Hi everybody, Bob with Knives Town here. We're going to take a look today at a knife by Topps. This is the Topps Hoffman Harpoon XL. It's the uh, the large model. Uh, it does it is available in a smaller size as well. This particular one we've got here is the large model. Uh, it comes with uh, it, it ships in, in bubble wrap for protection along with a brochure from, from a Lansky brochure from Lansky Sharpeners. And uh, it comes, it arrives with a sheath and some, and, uh, some additional equipment also. So we'll take a look at this at the sheath first. Uh, the sheath holds the knife in with a, uh, it's made of ballistic nylon and it holds the knife in with a Velcro Velcro loop goes over like that and we'll put the knife to the side for right now take a look at this sheath I'll show you it is it, like I said it's, it's ballistic nylon uh, it does it does contain a plastic insert I can't get it out but there's a there is a plastic insert in there uh, for the for the knife blade to, to to rest in and ride in uh, it is. It does come with several pieces of equipment on it. Uh, one piece that it does come with is this Lansky sharpener here. Uh, this is a this is a, uh, a a rod system. There's there's two ceramic rods on each side, uh, which would be which would be your your you know your your coarse and your fine sharpening, uh, and that would be you can see that. And as you know, you put a put a knife blade in there and then drag it through drag it through the notch like that to do some quick field touch up this is a this is a rubber insert here so it gives a good grip so as you're as you're holding on to that and and drawing your knife through you can keep a good keep a good steady grip on it it's a very good handy little little field piece uh, it'll also it also comes with uh, a fire starter and that is that is this piece here and let's get a little bit of a close-up on that. Okay, that this this comes attached uh, attached by a chain, uh, and it is a, a fire starter. Uh, what what you have here are are three rods, and the, these two silver rods are magnesium, and the dark rod is uh, ferrocium. So what you'll do here is you'll take the knife and you'll scrape off some of this magnesium on, in, into a little pile uh, on your on your tinder on your uh, on your kindling and make a little make a little pile of, of magnesium shavings by scraping off with the knife then turn over to this ferrocium rod and 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 scrape that like a flint like you're scra making a spark and that'll send a spark down onto the magnesium and ignite the magnesium which will ignite your your kindling your tinder Magnesium burns at about 5,000 degrees, and this ferrocium will will shoot out a 1,000 degree spark into it. So it's it is uh, it's an effective fire starter. It's it's housed in this uh, al aircraft aluminum uh, handle here, and of course it doesn't matter if it's wet, or you know it doesn't matter if it was you know underwater five minutes ago, it'll still start a fire for you. You also get the uh, the famous uh, military P38 can opener uh, for use in the field. Opening opening your uh, open your cans if you've brought some with you, and use that to work around the work around the can. That's been used in World War II, Korea, Vietnam, and probably still is seen service. Uh, you also get this length of paracord, which is which uh, it can be used for any number of multiple purposes uh, with respect to with respect to survival. It's it's a good, well thought out sheath. It's a, it's a flat um, pancake almost style, so you could wear it in your back pocket if you needed to, or it could be strapped to a a leg or, or arm or, or uh, hip you know it can be worn in any way you want okay the knife itself is right here all 
All right, technical specs on that. That blade is three and a quarter inches. The steel is 1095 steel, and it is one quarter inch thick steel. A quarter of an inch thick, all the way up and down. That's a bar of steel. It's got the black traction coating on it. Rockwell hardness of 58. The overall length is 9 and an eighth inches. Now, like I say, there is a smaller version available. This is the XL. But, you know, I mean, it is just a fire... Uh, uh, it's, a, it's a survival knife. And it can, uh, it can be used in a variety of ways. I mean, it's called the harpoon, so obviously, you know, you can see that it does have that harpoon style to it, and, and you could make a harpoon out of it. It could be, you could take this, this paracord that you've got that comes with it here, and, you know, or, or this paracord, undo this, and you could, you could lash it to a, a, stay, a stick or a stake, and, and you could make a harpoon out of it, absolutely. Um, it's got enough belly for skinning, so you could use it in that way. Um, you know, it's. Uh, I, I read where where one gentleman said that what he does is he 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 straps a he ties uh, the knife to a stick and then he ties an empty bean can uh, that to hang down here. So as he as he pushes it up and lifts it up up into the tree to cut to cut figs, the figs fall into the empty can that's dangling from the knife right here rather than all the way down to the ground and be ruined. It's a survival knife. And that's, that's paracord that's braided around it there. Made in the USA. Topps is a great company. I really love the knives they come out with. I personally own the uh, Hawk Recon, and I've enjoyed that tremendously. This is a this is a great survival knife, and it comes with uh, a good sheath with some extra equipment on it. There you go. All right. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you again.